Hi, this is Jakey Lee, and this is my Charvel Bluebird signature guitar. Because uh, this would have been like 1969. One day I, I walked by there and I, I heard Purple Haze, and I'd never heard anything like that before. And I, I was just, I was mesmerized. I was in her door, I'm listening to, I listen to the whole thing, I listen to the solo, I'm like, holy shit, what was that? She goes, that's Jimi Hendrix. And I went, Jimi Hendrix? Jim, I, yes, okay, I need to play guitar. <laughs> and that's when I decided I was gonna play guitar. Jimi Hendrix, single-handedly, with one song, changed everything for me. Yeah, the Bluebirds, that was when I was, uh, when I was finally comfortable, foolishly, in Ozzy. We'd done the uh, Bark of the Moon tour and we were going in to record uh, Ultimate Sin, and that's when I wanted some new guitars that, that, that were mine, that weren't just, I, I'd been using Charvel backups, and uh, they asked me uh, what colors I wanted. And most of the people then had like big graphics, you know, they, they had, everybody else had that covered. But I wanted something that was specifically for me, and that's when we did the blue and the purple burst, and so, they pretty much nailed it right off the bat. Didn't have to redo it. I'd, I'd played in local bands before that, and then I got into Ozzy and just thrust right away into playing arenas and in front of a lot of the US Festival, one of the first uh, gigs I did with them. Uh, just, it was, yeah, it was a, a very special time, one that uh, I don't think happens to a lot of people. I mean, Warren, my my friends in Rat, and Molly Crew, all these bands that actually became very big, they still had to uh, work up to it, where I just got thrust into it from from where we had all started, right up to the top. And uh, yeah, it, it was uh, very interesting, very um, it, special. Yeah. <laughs> Features that I liked, I like the slanted pickups. You get a little more depth out of the top strings, and out of the bottom strings, you get a little more bite when it's slanted this way. Uh, and I got that idea from uh, Hendrix because he played the wrong way, <laughs> he played the other way around. And so the bridge pickup on a strat ended up being slanted this way because he was left-handed, and I always liked the sound he got out of that pickup, so I incorporated it into those two pickups. And you need a big fat sound, so humbucker down here. So I, I like straight plugs, and this is the best design for an input jack. Volume and the five-way pickup selector, uh, with this position being these two pickups, but one of the humbuckers pickups is not in it, so it's basically two single coils into an out of phase sound. The neck's a little slimmer, a little faster than uh, most Charvels, and uh, it's, it's just different. It's, it's not a bad thing, it's not a good thing, it's a different thing. Um, some people like fat necks, but it doesn't hurt to have variety. If every guitar you pick up feels exactly the same, then you're pretty much gonna play the same. For me, I prefer the hardtail. I they just sound better. Obviously, you can't say this sounds better than that. Period. There's there's people that'll tell you what's the best for every minutia you can think of, and and none of it matters. All of it matters. It's it's all preferences. There is no right and wrong. I prefer hardtails. Um, I don't use bars. Uh, I found other ways of. You know, Bending and uh, that's all stupid shit. But <laughs> but if I want to do stupid shit like that, I don't need a bar. I can do stupid shit just with my hands. Uh, <laughs> so I like a little resonance. Uh, I like the wood to be um, not dense and heavy. Uh, it sounds too uh, artificial to me when the wood's really hard. 
And so I shouldn't say it sounds better. It sounds more like what I want a guitar to sound like. So yes, I like this headstock. Uh, I like this input jack. I like this body design. I like these pickups slanted towards my preference. I like a humbucker there. And uh, I like a hardtail. And it works for me. It works for me. Well, Eddie, you know, used a Charvel, and he was the guy that turned the whole guitar world upside down, so he kind of made it cool. You were either a Fender guy or a Gibson guy, really. And then Eddie comes along, gets everybody's shit up with his playing, and he's playing a Charvel. It kind of became synonymous with just cool. Charvel. Yeah, I play Charvel, and it sounds cool. Uh, it, it, everything they've made, I, that I've even stuff I didn't particularly care for, uh, it, it's well made. It's uh, as good as you can get. I mean, uh, I can't think of another uh, brand or, or company that uh, I would trust with making me stuff. Now, is it El Nico or is it El Nico? However you'd like to pronounce it. What's your preferred way? <laughs> the, one that, the, Bronx, I, the one that doesn't sound stupid. English, is, so. 